welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast, this is R. U. Garbage. Y'all. Yeah. We'll show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out they're going to be classy yep. or if they're a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day down here in Aunt Tootie's basement, but I'm going to tell you folks because you're the homies. The Patreon. That's right. We're here for a bonus episode. On the Patreon. Oh, yeah. Having a good time over here on the Patreon. We love each and every one of you, despite what you said about me in the last seven days. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He's my goddamn boss. Do me a favor. I'm in the hole with this guy. Shoot me a fucking Yelp review or something like that. I think they did already. <laughs> it ain't good. Service was bad. <laughs> Give me five stars. I'll take four and a half. Something. Make me look good. This guy's getting ready to kick me to the curb. Oh, look at him. Be on the unemployment over, over playing victim already. Man. Give it up for KJ. Well, I'm thinking about changing to just Kev. Uh, the beer jackets, you're a Kev. No, beer jackets are KJ, I feel. No, KJ wouldn't wear that. Kev Kev is the cool guy. He's still hanging around the area. Didn't go to college. He's doing pretty good. Your stock's really rising. Everybody loves you. I'm a nice guy who's not a psychopath a liar. Yeah, Toby. <laughs> Speaking of Toby McMullen, our good pal, the magic man, another kid fucking killing it. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking falling behind here. They used to love me. Now I'm the bad boy. The bad boy over here. Really buttering us up for this one, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen is the gentleman from North Carolina's name. What's up? Hey, pal. I got presents for you guys, by the way. Oh, nice. This has nothing to I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the new kitchen staff over the last few couple of days. Uh, you're doing a great job in there because we're fucking cooking. This Patreon's cooking. All right, before Woo! we get into everything, we just, you know, we hit the 3600 so the $10,000 bet Fuck. will be happening very, very soon once Foley has $5,000. <laughs> so it could be six to eight years. Who the fuck knows? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take that from the, the nut. I think we might even take it from the ad money first. Okay. Because we gotta, we want to get that out. We want to fucking strike while the iron's hot because we had to push fucking the Disney thing due to the tour. So, mm-hmm. like, I want to fucking get this done. I mean, you know, and get this and give it to the fucking patrons. They fucking, you know, they rallied behind it. And uh, I really want to fucking, I want to, you know, so we should be getting that. But they, we just got jammed up with that money. They're really giving me the fucking runaround. Who is? The old ad company. Uh-oh. Got, I didn't know this. Got bought by a big ad company. Really? And now, like, everything's done online. So I hit the guy up. I'm like, hey, man, you never sent me the breakdown for the payment this month. Uh-huh. And he goes, that's all done online now. You got to set up an account at fucking J.G. Wentworth or whatever. Well, it's <laughs> and my money, like, and I want it now. Yeah. It's Kevin's money, and I want it now. <laughs> So, but yeah, so I think we're going to do that. So that, you know, we should, uh, should have some of that money and then we can, you, you know, use, uh, apply that towards the $10,000 bet. Sounds great. That'll either be the greatest night or the worst night of my life. It's going to be fun either way. Nah, it's going to ruin my how summer. You, how do you think we should do it before we, we have a lot to get to? I don't know. How, I.e. the new fat challenge. I don't know how we're going to film it, to be honest, once we get into the casino. It's gonna be dicey. You fake can, camp, you fake can cell phone. I also want to get you. You can get, you can buy like glasses. I, I thought about those. That would be funny just to like have you going like, all right, here we go, we're going in. Even if it's like grainy and whatever, it'll still be fun. Yeah. And then I think you could do like the problem do the, with the with the, the gla- cell phone jet, like cell phone pocket. That was here. My, that was gonna be one of the moves for sure. And if we all do that, and we have three fucking cam, three cell phones running at the table. Why are you guys all wearing the same glasses? <laughs> no, I'm saying if T-Bone has the glasses on. The glasses only record for like 30 seconds at a time, though. Damn. You only need that fucking. You just need you looking at the ding, ding, ding as it's bouncing around. And we're going blink, blink, blink. Uh, there, for sure, we'll get audio without a question. Sure. Because we'll just fucking run I them. think you can pull your phone out. Even if you stand back, like, in the hallway. Yeah. Like, if you're not at the table. The hallway? Where are we like, doing this at? Like, well, I would, the, the walkway. Yeah. Like, because that's like technically not the floor. Hold on, a that, lot of places. that's an idea. 
Like if you're just even back, if you're like five feet behind, get the. I, I honestly oh. think I honestly think if I film it vertically on a phone, no one will say shit. They'll think it's a fucking Instagram story. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. I think you gave me an idea with the hallway. Instead of going to an actual casino, we go to somebody's casino night and clean out some church. Not a bad idea. No, what? The, 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 what? You don't the Baptist think? church isn't going to take a ten thousand dollar bet. All right, they got a bake sale they got to cover. You send a couple of drinks over to the table, <laughs> will you, Padre? <laughs> Where the fuck you get this wine from, huh? Yikes. Um, very exciting. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But, like, should we also do, like, a nice dinner? Like, what's after, the night? After. I, okay. But that might ruin the dinner. I think... What we, need to do, what, what we need to do. The night's ruined. We're going to lose. <laughs> is, it, well, well, and I'm going to be in serious well, all trouble. All three of us are doing this. We need to take the $10,000 out for a nice night on the town. Like, go around with the stack That's of That's pretty funny. <laughs> like, have them at the table and stuff. <laughs> He'll have the Pellegrino. We'll put, we'll put the little eyes on him. <laughs> Tap water for him, please. We don't know how long he's sticking around. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think if we go to a nice dinner and you have, like, the build-up, it'll be fun. We'll be so fucking anxious. I'll be boozing heavy to forget about it, to shut the old memory off. Hmm. And then if we win, we'll go out and we'll buy, like, a bottle or something somewhere. If not, we'll go to that dive bar. You have to have the money on you, right, when you go in? Did I ask you this? What? I don't know if you venmo it or whatever. I don't gamble. All right? Yeah, we're I'll... driving down with 10 jihads. Oh, Cash. Fuck, money. Nervous. In ones. <sighs> so we look cool. I'm going to put in the a... Kia? I'm going to... I was thinking we should rent a big car because Akash might come down, obviously. Ooh, a little star power. Oh, I forgot right. about that. And that doubles the bet to 20000 What? And there was something else of if we win, Not we put like. Not doing it, just going to a like, nice dinner? If we win, we put like. Uh, a grand a on a number? I don't know if it was 1000 It was something. It was something along those lines. We do another, a secondary bet. Jesus Christ. Whatever. I have to go back and listen to that said, uh, <laughs> said thing. The loudmouth promises we made? Mm -hmm. Yeah, We really run our fucking yaps, huh? Yes, we do. We keep it interesting over here. It, made us this, it got us this far, so let's keep doing it. A million the, dollars next time. This has nothing to do with the new weigh-in and the new challenge. No. All right, but I, I, got, I was in Wawa, and I got you guys a, a little present. Just because we were talking about them the other day. Top baseball cards. Yeah. Pack a pack of baseball cards for you. Great. Girls. Of course. <sighs> See, but you got a trash can over there? No, this is great. I always wanted this. This is wow. It's not your fucking birthday present, dickhead. I just saw it. We were talking about baseball cards, so I got you a pack. And the Angels, too, my favorite team. It's, it's not just the Angels. That's who's on the cover. You probably took the gum out of here already, didn't you? It was a Snickers. Right. Let's see what we got here. Holy shit, Michael Jordan rookie card. <laughs> Holy shit. That's also, what kind of bullshit? It says you get 16 cards, and then <laughs> may contain only 9 to 14 cards. <laughs> what kind of bozo shit did you get me? You're a dirtbag through and through. You know I got that? the ace of clubs. What's going on yeah. here? Man, talk about getting the screw job. Anybody good? Here. No, I got a Met off rip. There's a couple of good guys on that team. Is Piazza? Who do you got? <laughs> Get me a Honda if you do. <laughs> tell, him, tell him Kippy needs a new CRV. Mike Piazza Motors? Yeah. Um, what if he's in there selling the cars? I doubt it. Maybe just on the weekends. Orioles, Brewers, these stink. So lay this out. What's the scoop? All right. So. Obviously. Hold on. Well, we were thinking. Thank you, Foley. Of course. This thank you, actually, buddy. you know. This was sparked by Tom Cassidy mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, the AYG live shows. I don't mm -hmm. know if you heard. He's a, he's a worker over there on the live show. Yes, he is. Hey, man. Hey, man. When are you going to do something? It was like along those lines. Hey, man. What's going to happen? Um, I think this was probably the first time he spent seven days with you or so. And it did come at the end of the trip. Yeah. His, you know, his, like, uh, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. His, uh, if you're not a ten dollar homie, you might not know what's going on over there. Sure, I had a rough week out in Cali. I, I messed up a couple of times. You ended up Took costing costing the company about I don't know, you know, at least three grand, closer to conservative. Yeah, that's very conservative. Mm -hmm. But we hashed it out on a hard feelings. 
Emergency hard feelings. Yes. So, I'm digging my way out of a little hole here. What you got going on over there? You got the little hiccups. You're like Hansi when he drinks too much toilet water. (laughs) That's exactly how I got it. Blue stuff is delicious. Uh, so, and it's honestly in a you know, uh, we've been down this road many times, but (laughs) it's not many times enough. Uh, it honestly, from a genuine place, you know. Emotion, it has been weighing on me, no pun intended, I swear to God. Of you really do see the behaviors when you're with, when you're together for a week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You see, you know, I I, I just see. How'd you feel about my eating habits in Cali? If you had it graded from an A to an F, C minus. Yeah. C minus? That's passing. He's Ma, degrees. we're going to college. <laughs> Community. <laughs> For three years, I'll transfer. Uh, thought you would have said D. Uh, yeah, it wasn't good. I think you were being polite. It wasn't good. I wasn't. I don't know why. I know. Um, <laughs> you have this effect on me. He does. You want, you, you, know, you want his affection. You want his attention. Get over here. Yeah. Um, Squeeze a C out of you in no time. Um, okay, a C. All right. Uh, let's, go, let's, call, let's call a spade a spade. It was a D. I didn't, I, I, and the I, extracurricular activities weren't fantastic I didn't, either. I didn't snack in between any meals. I, sure. I kept it pretty tight with the meals. Nope. Now, this is, uh, and like from a non, we talked about this a little bit on the hard feelings that, that came out yesterday that we shot by the pool. Are you referring to the sweet potato french fries, the uh, bread, the, the bread, beer? The, yeah. There, I, there's what a, did I have that had bread? You order bread every time. You order bread every breakfast. Oh. I and slice, hash browns. I have a slice of toast. I, hash I know, browns? but the, like this, and I think... I think this is, you know, we we did talk about this, and I think the disconnect is you're going, I had a slice of bread. When it's really minimum two slices of bread and the potatoes and, you know. You, I never you, know ordered, what, you ordered like a whole pastry and then pretended like you didn't know what it was when it showed up. What was that? Ah, the knish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the knish. And then got mad at us that you had to eat a healthy lunch, a healthier lunch. I'm sitting here eating fucking toppings. You're like, <laughs> honestly, that's what it's like to go out with you. Which you it know, was, that wasn't that healthy. I had two scoops of tuna fish and a scoop of egg salad. I know, but you're sitting there complaining. By the way, Cantor's, by the way. <laughs> sucks balls. Was it Cantor's? Rocks. Yeah, sucks yeah. ass. That place needed a power You wire. call that a fucking pickle? Uh, yeah, they were like. Sorry, I'm they fired were up. Like, they were like wilted, those things. Oh, man. Um, I think. I think there's a big disconnect in reality to your delusion of what healthy is. Hmm. Because, you know, and I was thinking about this. Before. I also think I'm Batman. <laughs> I probably should tell you guys that. Cheese steaks. Tune in. It's next week. Same fat time. Same fat channel. Same dinner time. So fat, there's grease on the buttons. Um. Would you like a cigarette? It's a lot. It's. Uh, what are your thoughts on Cantor's? <laughs> on the on the whitefish? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. I Where know. Where do you think you're coming from? And then we'll we'll go from there. I thought I skated by pretty good. I mean, obviously the potatoes. At, see, I never know what you guys are picking up, and dude. Everything. You, 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 you did everything, Foley. Everything. everything. It's it, just I'll just ruin the meal if I tell you how I feel. Yeah. Yes, you would. <laughs> um, you did a great job of that. Of, of Ruining being, breakfast that one day, he did kind of ruin breakfast. Oh, <laughs> we'll get we'll we'll get to that once we address the discussion at breakfast. Sure. Sure. Um, I handled that very well. I thought after two. He did. Hour. I do think he had the right to lose it on you. You were being very gunty in but front I of would... in in front of a, a, a an associate, company. by the way. Yeah, an associate. Yeah. Um. I didn't snack at all in between any meals, which is one thing I'll say. Of course, yeah. But yes, of course, I will do whatever, you know, I'll do what I can. I'll, I'll get away with what you think you can get away with. Yeah. Which is the, the, which the is, crux you, of the problem. Yeah. You're, you're, sure. You have no interest in bettering yourself for you. You only want to do it so we don't give you a shit. That's also, you're not making the, you're making the choices of, 
I can see it in your face. Like I, see, I know you're going like, oh, if I go pancakes, that's going to be a fucking pushback that I don't want right now. So I'll go omelet with a side of fucking whatever and whatever. And you're real big on sides, by the way. Don't think I haven't noticed. And then also as they're like, okay, they're collecting the menu. He's like, oh, yeah, and a triple stack of pancakes. You're like real. You really throw it together like it just came just to your head. A little blooper into left field. Yeah. <laughs> just a little pop, fl- a pop fly, a, a pop fly ice cream sundae, if you will. I'm trying to score runs here. Playing money ball. <laughs> a little pop pancake flight, huh? Um, you know. Side, was, of, side of coleslaw. Uh, yeah, you're real big on this. No, but let's go over on it. The okay, so orders. so what I should have had at breakfast would just be bacon and eggs, maybe. Or just I eggs. I would just say, hey, I'll take a, a feta spinach omelet and a side of bacon. And that's that. Okay. I got you. Yeah. I, I, and that's not even, like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here going that's the most healthiest thing. Sure. Tacos, you know, the tacos I thought uh, was pretty good. Nope. No, no, no good. Man, those tacos. I mean, man, those tacos. What about that beef Wellington? Is that stepping on the where line? Did you, where did you? Oh my god, For, dude! You I don't even think beef Wellington. Dude, I don't even think I knew what I. I don't I, uh, listen. We went to an. It's we, literally <laughs> surrounded in pastry, dude. It, we, it came out it's savory treats, dude. I I've never had it before. I thought it was a uh, dude. I don't believe you. I thought it was a birthday cake when they dropped it. I was, I was expecting like forty six to be on top. All of the it. waiters start singing. <laughs> happy, happy fat guy. Happy, happy fat guy. Uh, I didn't. I honestly didn't really know what beef Wellington was, and I was like, oh, me. I figured it was like cut a beef and like some gravy or something. I was thinking like you know. I like a tenderloin type thing, man. That thing, that thing came out. Cr- that was like a donut, dude. I didn't fucking say nothing though, did I? No, you didn't. And you, you I didn't give you shit at all this whole fucking very, time. Very, very merciful. Very, 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 very kind. Very forgiving. I also, th- me, I'm talking about. Sure. I. Uh, this is gonna sound. La- this is. <laughs> I'm trying to be honest and genuine here, man, you know, uh, and you told me not like, let's keep it fun and lighthearted. Like, you know, I'm not, I, I don't want to yell at, we've been down all these roads, you know, and uh, I do, I think I've given up, to be yes. honest with you. I don't, Pizza? I don't know Wingy? if I have it in me, just because like, after, you know, Hey, we're on the road. Everybody gives up on the road if we're in fucking Albany or fucking, mm-hmm. you know, hey, fuck, we're behind the gun. We just got to eat real quick or it's mad late. And, you know, hey, I'll get the whatever, the whatever. Like, you know, we, we tend to turn blind eyes to a lot of that stuff. Um, I think I think for storyline for the homies believing in me, we've hit rock bottom. And I'm aware of that. Yeah, I think I, I, I think you've lost all. I mean, this is going on a year now. We did the last challenge. I think was was probably a year ago. We started the weight loss challenge. Right. We're at rock bottom. I don't expect anybody to believe me. Which is it, why I was at such a cunt at breakfast. I understand that. If you if if, if you're turning your listen, I know I'm down in the polls right now with, with with the homies. And this, but this is also this is this is not fat foley. This is now fucking manipulator fully go i know i'm down in the polls i know i've hurt you i i, I know i've i know i've stolen from you but i'm a changed man this is that's right this. that's this why is... i was such a cunt because I, be- I genuinely believed in you and you broke my heart <laughs> and my chair <laughs> i'm sitting in a broken chair <laughs> also too... shout out to beef wellington <laughs> don't blame me <laughs> Blame that Scottish bastard that invented that thing because it's delicious. And not, uh, <coughs> not a. Uh, this is just outside looking in again mm-hmm. a week, a, a full week together, going everywhere, doing everything all day to, you know. Um, the late night tuna fish sandwich at that bar was probably a. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy that you did that. That was like, I mean, if you would have been like, give me a meatball sub, I would have been like, I w- at that point, I'm thirteen, I'm fucking I, probably nineteen beers deep. I'm looking. But a tuna other. fish, you don't know what to say. Tuna fish, say I was more like that's insane that you're gonna eat tuna fish from a place that there's there, there's there's running water on the floor. It was unbelievable. They did have really good food. Oh my! It, that God. place was recommended by like 15, 15 people to us. You let me have a couple. Did I have a wing? Did you let me have a wing? I you, think I did have a wing. Yeah, but dude, you ate everything that we got. You ate the chips, the wings. You're big on chips too, and a side of chips. That's your. <laughs> Tortillas? Yeah. You're big on and then one of these and one of those. But again, this is uh 
I don't want to make it seem like I'm beating you up or anything like that. This is coming from a point of like, your weight is a thing on the road. Hmm? I mean, just at like seating, tables, booths, chairs. It's like everything, it's gotten to the point, I'm not being a dick. I, this isn't for comedy. This is more of like, it's bigger than just your weight problem when you're traveling. I mean, it's like, what car seat you get in? Who sits next to you? He doesn't put me in a car seat. No, no but I'm just saying, like, Tommy's got to ride. A, dude, first of all, we have, dude, we have an SUV that holds 15 people, and Tommy rides up front. <laughs> and it's just me, you, and Tommy. But I'm just saying, it's your, your, you know, your weight affects every movement, ultimately, on the road. Mm-hmm. It's considered. Plus, the airlines you got to think about, too. They're spending extra gas. <laughs> They're already jammed up. We got, just, we got lucky on the way back, though. And I do think you smoking the cig, to me, there was pure laziness. Smoking the cigarette in, in the, the driveway. driveway. That's pure, pure laziness. Because mm-hmm. it never would have crossed my mind to have one there. Mm-hmm. I think that you going, I ain't, I'm done. It's late in the night. I don't have I've I've walked. I don't have it in me. I'm just going to smoke right here. Okay. Yeah. So I would argue us getting tossed <clears throat> was slightly related to your situation. My obesity. Sure. Well, I know you feel that way. And I'm, this is coming from love. This is coming from, like, I'm trying to make you aware of the task at hand. Sure. If that makes sense. Sure. There are still some, some of the homies out there that believe me. Um. Oh, so I went through it out there. What? <laughs> on the Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah. It was open season on the big man, which all just gets- deserved as well. I'll admit yeah. that right now. I deserve every bit of it. That's a little harsh. Listen, we very have a good time over here. But we okay. very much live and die our personal lives on this Patreon, which I think is why it's very popular. We air, you know, we air our stuff out. There's we haven't had this conversation off air. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. I'm saying this. A lot of these bozos that don't have the balls to lay it all out there on the line. That's what we do every week, like like an open nerve. Which also like it makes it easier. The fact that we are recording, I don't know if I would be able to say that to you that your weight is like affecting the trips. Okay, you know, I I don't know if I'd be able to say that to you off air. I think it's easier to do here because you can't really you can't throw a punch at me. (laughs) (laughs) I flinch. I make them think you're beating me. You can't sit in a booth. <laughs> um, <coughs> which I'm all like again. I'm all fine with it's. It's you know. It's I, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just going like it is. <laughs> Sound a little bit like you complain. <laughs> no, I'm sharing with you that like when we walk into a place, it's appetizers. Like, it's like Foley. What? Where do you want? I got gotcha. you. Do you want the booth or do you want the table? And then when you whatever you do take that table's get moved about two tree feet. By the way, <laughs> it's okay. So. I'm aware of this. I'm aware that, that, that you know, p- nobody's going to believe in me for because we're, we're gearing up for another weight loss challenge. Which, pretty yes, much. which I, I'm, I'm throwing down the gauntlet once again because I got the big man in my pocket for about 35 Honda. Nope, 28. I paid you to four. I paid for the hotels. Check yeah, your but Venmo. I mean, the new Airbnb was 3,500, wasn't it? Or 2,800. 28. Maybe 2,800. The right. total was 3,200. Also, you, you, Plus, I called the hotel and checked their rates. Yeah, then you shortchanged me. No, nah. that's the case. I was saying 400. It was four something. And you really got away with, hey, saying to 400. Let me know and I will send it right over. Okay. Minus the baseball cards. <laughs> the 9 to 12 baseball cards, <laughs> even though we advertise 16. <laughs> so, anyway, I get, I get the chips are down. Um, <laughs> right? Ruffles. <Huh>? Ruffles. <laughs> there was never a big Ruffles guy. My the dad the chips are down, and can we get some more salsa? <laughs> <laughs> the chips are down. Got hot sauce? <laughs> Where did we have chips and salsa? That Everywhere. Was really- <laughs> <laughs> I caught you having them in bed one night. <laughs> so you're in there with a lady. It was just a Tostitos bag. <laughs> I heard the squeaking. You were humping her. Not a regular Ruffles guy, but the the cheddar sour cream ones are pretty off the hook. Yeah, they were too 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 greasy. They're too too much stuff on them. They're very hard. Those those Ruffles. They don't fuck around with those. Things. Oh, I was thinking hers ripples. No Ruffles. The red bag. 
Ruth Redbag. Oh no, that's, that's hers. That's a dad chip. That, that's dude, a dad chip. That's hers. That's hers version of Ruffles. Those things are fucking like a quarter inch thick. Mm-hmm. That'll stop a stinger missile. Those I things. Know. Put those on fucking tanks and stuff. Um, Jesus Christ. Anyway, not to get off track. Yeah. So hold on. So all your concerns, all your comments are warranted. Someone do a compilation of him saying this same shit over and over. I'm all being sincere. All in the same shirt, by the way. And you say the same thing every time I call you out. I'm serious this time. But just so everybody knows, I don't, we, we don't want anybody getting upset in the Patreon or, the, or dividing the room or anything like that. Just holding a severed head. I will not kill again. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had it coming. <clears throat> I mean, we don't. You can't, can't have any loose ends walking around. I don't want people to take it too seriously. It's or like, like you can't have any burnt ends left on his blade. Where, Come you're, on, barbecue. Whoa. What's it again? I don't know. That was you. You lost confidence before you even finished the punchline. I line. knew that you wouldn't know what burnt ends were. I heard burnt ends, and that's what that's what piqued my interest because they are delicious. Um. So anyway, Tommy, Tommy on, just hold goes. On a second. Okay. I'm gonna say, we don't want anybody taking things. To, you're not really mad at me. No. To a degree, I, yeah. No, I... The show's not in any jeopardy of going away or anything like that. No, you know, never. And, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate that you guys care, care about us enough to, to, you know, to, 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 you know, be mad, and you should be mad. I've, I've let you all down. I'll be the first one to admit it. I've let you all y'all's down. Second one to admit it. I've let you all down. Mm-hmm. But... And for the record, I am not mad at you, but I have lost all faith in you completely. <laughs> Just where I want to be, baby. <laughs> Just what I wanted. So, everybody loves to come back. You said this like fucking twelve months ago, ten months ago, a second six comeback, months ago, a comeback, comeback. I got you right where I want you. <laughs> so, um, Lunch. and this week, so Tommy brought something up. Tommy Cassidy. Tommy Cassidy, just like in a very genuine way, mm-hmm. was just like, "What are we gonna do here?" Like, you was I there? Yeah, I forgot the comment, but it was like, "When are... come on in, new guy, new Luke. guy Luke, my only friend in the company." Hey, buddy, good to see you. Yeah, wait till Luke's pays late because <laughs> <laughs> you lost us thirty five grand in California. <laughs> um, Tommy, it just it was just like a very it was just a very calm comment of like what are we doing here i forget the exact words but it was like are we just gonna keep you you, you know you were about six ipas deep there was like you know all sorts of apps sprinkled the infield and you were you were dabbling hang on one second yeah i got you some baseball cards buddy <laughs> continue so tommy just made a comment of something very that kind of it shook me to the core because it wasn't a joke Right, it wasn't like you fat piece of shit, you bald that. Like it, it was just like at the end of him spending a week with you, he was just like, "What are something's got? We got to do something here." Um, and then obviously the shirtless picture you're going around isn't doing you a whole bunch of favors. In you know, here's the crazy thing: you think you look good. I I know that I look better in that picture than I do in real life. Actual, of course. If you saw me now, I mean, but that's a lot of man. You're a lot of man in that it's picture, big dude. A lot of you're- man. Back is fighting itself. And the worst thing about it is the front is like a thousand times worse. Bad. That's what I'm saying. It's like Niagara Falls over your belt buckle, dude. It's. I got the uh, the Bobby the Bobby Baclieri from What's Sopranos. Oh, the stomach. He had. He, I thought you had man. He had his own like fat guy <laughs> waistbands or something. That's what I. Like, <laughs> I come in here dressed like Paulie Walnuts every day. I thought that's what you meant. Like he's got a girdle or something. I'm like, all right. I didn't know. I didn't know he's diversified like that. New Bobby Bagliari's girl. <laughs> I thought I literally thought it was like some sort of s- stomach suspender. <laughs> ah, it's good. So, yes, I. D- yeah, uh, uh, I'm losing it. I think, I do think we're at a tipping point, right after this past year, of if you don't do it now, I and I'm not being a dick. I genuinely don't think you have it in you after okay. watching your behavior. Over the past year, not just based on anything, like I genuinely, I don't think you have it in you. Okay, I understand that, and I understand your doubts too. I think it would be insane if I thought you did have it in you. I'd have to check myself into a mental institution if I believed in you at at two four. I understand. Um, 
But I do think you're getting to the point where it's like you something something's got to give. You got to do something, man. Okay. Something. Well, let's get into so you're let's tw- let's you're, start to move forward. Yes, of course. Okay. Because mm-hmm. like I said, we don't want anybody, you know. Don't go dying on us. No, no, it's not that. It's just, you know, I don't want to. I get worried. I, I don't want to turn the, the homies off. I don't want them to start hating me. Well, no one hates you. Oh, buddy. Too late for that. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. I'm like, no one hates you. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, fatty. <laughs> we crossed that line somewhere in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> you play a good bad guy. I am the bad guy. <laughs> um, No, so, you know. So you're uh, I uh, conservative number. Conservative number. You're into us. You're into the company uh-huh. for 28. 28 jihads. If I really had to, if I was a business putting an actual well, which I know which, you, uh, which, which I know you don't have for, by the way. Either way, for the record, I've agreed. I said I will I will take care of that and you could- <laughs> you really bre- I will take care of that. <laughs> 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 the words pay never came out. I will do that thing you mentioned with the other guy and the thing. Luke, I need a one-way flight to Cancun. <laughs> Take care of it, Leah. You're the only guy I can trust. That's when you know it's real bad, when I'm calling you on a Friday night. Don't tell the other guys. <laughs> um, right. Just, yeah, just trying to save my name a little bit. I offered to pay it. You guys came up with this Well, new it's thing. also, you know, I know you ain't got it. I'll have it on the first. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be gone on the second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have half of it on the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the prestige. <laughs> Last thing I say, abracadabra. Great movie, by the way. <laughs> Michael Caine's just looking at your finances, losing his mind. How is he doing this? <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Dude. He owed me he owed me four hundred dollars for the hotel rooms. And he goes, I'll get that to you next week. I go, You don't have four hundred dollars. He didn't have four hundred dollars personally. I was cash poor at the time. <laughs> that just means you're poor, dude. <laughs> I know you don't have stocks in Well, I know you don't take Amex. <laughs> considering you it's yours. My <laughs> Amex. <laughs> I start reading off the number. You're like, wait a minute. This sounds familiar. All right, so Kippy, it's your billing address. <laughs> <laughs> Name on the card, Kevin J. Ryan. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's funny. So, Anywho. The number we put on you is 2,800. 2,800. Okay. Uh, and I think that's, so let's do a little quick little math here. I owe my own company $2,800. <laughs> that's, that's, that's insane, dude. <laughs> Is that not an accurate statement? No, I mean, it's insane that that's a statement. <laughs> it's not like the company should owe you money. But you like don't. The, the company currently owes me $1,300. Theoretically, yes. Not theoretically. The company 100% owes me $1,300 for an Airbnb. Hypothetically. No. Factually, statistically. Okay. $1,300. I don't know the difference, but, but, but go ahead. Um, so really, that's all I really do owe is thirteen hundred. No, this is for something else. This is for an Airbnb, another air. This is for Chicago. No, Airbnb. you owe more than twenty eight. You owe more than twenty eight hundred dollars nice. because if you want to really want to look at it, the other place was like eight hundred a night, and we lost two or three nights there. Okay, so that would be eight hundred times three. That would be twenty four hundred plus the twenty eight hundred. Well, go ahead, give me the real number. Let's go. I, I don't need any fucking training wheels on it. I'll fucking take my medicine like a big boy. Thirty six hundred. No, it's more than that. Thirty six. It would be fifty two hundred or something like that. Oh yeah, I said one night. Oh my god. You mean the nights that that we, we lost at, at the Airbnb. that we paid for? If you prorated a night, uh huh. Let's call it. I think it was like I'll even. I'm guessing seven hundred a night mm-hmm. times. We'll, what nights did we lose? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What smells like cherry? Wednesday, Thursday, Luke's vape. Friday. So, yeah, okay, so. You run down and grab me a Laffy Taffy or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's killing me right now. Mm, it smells good. Yours doesn't smell like that. I wouldn't. Oh, Luke's so rocking the Bernie's tea, too. No, Way to get all my good uh, Company, man, huh? Ooh, there you go. Take um, that off the top, by the way. You pay some re- Rex specs. Look at you. You pay retail for that? 
So it's technically the number is mm-hmm. 4,900. Okay. Which is fine. It makes it even a little more incentive. So you're into the company for 4,900. I'm sitting there. <laughs> You just ran your yap into two more cheese. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is literally how the first one started. I, hey, man, can you lose five pounds? I'll lose 400 pounds tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Um, Let's let's just call it for for math's sake. Let's call it uh, forty eight hundred for 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 let's simple. Let's call math. it five grand. Let's that does, go. That doesn't work with math. That's for, for yes, it does. Forty. It's another hundred. Yes, let's just call it forty eight hundred. There's another thousand. Whatever. It's forty. The, the number we're using is forty eight hundred. Okay. Um. I'll go forty eight five. Just. <laughs> you just can't agree with things. That's what it is in your head. Anything. You you got to you got to move it. You got to put your little pizzazz on it. Forty eight five one. All right. Um. So twelve hundred. So that's twelve hundred. That'll be you. So we're gonna put. You don't have the forty eight hundred cash. Am I correct on that? I don't want to assume your personal finances, but I'm gonna. Hey, hey, Henry, can you get the checkbook out and cut me a check for forty eight? Can you cut Tody LLC a check for forty eight hundred? Right now. Yeah. I don't have a pen. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's a weekend. It's a holiday, holiday weekend. So, Jesus didn't die to die so I could bounce a check on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing the collection of mass on Sunday. Yeah, sticky they fingers. Scrape over a here. little bit together. <laughs> hey, hey Fada, can we run this one more time? Uh, you ever seen them counting the money in the back? No, but I remember that when they started doubling up on the baskets, my dad got real pissed. Oh, He's they, like, you believe these cocksuckers? They do it twice. Yeah, that well, that started in the 90s. They got a lot of legal fees. Right? Yeah, and also they were like redoing the gym or something. My dad's yeah. like, listen, you get a cool dub every time. I'm not <laughs> fucking, you're not getting 40 out of me. I'm not even taking communion. <laughs> <laughs> not even eating. <laughs> I'll pay for the drinks, but that's it. <laughs> ah, man. Okay. So, you don't have the 4800. That's correct. I do not have the 4800. That's all I wanted from you. Fair uh, enough. I'm, um, I'm giving you giving it to so you. So, just that one. We're put you on a oh, we're going to put you so this was two, right? Though this is your 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 weight gain and then also your debt. Mm-hmm. And I've decided to join these two things. Which is listen, for content all jokes purposes, aside. For content purposes, of course. It's all content, folks. We're having a good time. But I will say, I, best boss I ever had, best friend I ever had, and I love you and I, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Moving on. <laughs> you thought that was going to get me? No, I'm just saying. Like, I, I can see it clearly. You know, this is, this is nice that you're doing this. Of course. Um. <laughs> I'm being sincere. Um. So, we'll do four. So, I'll break that into four monthly payments of $1,200. Okay. Man, that's a lot of scratch. <laughs> I would like to add an addendum to this. Oh, hold on. So, let me just say, let me explain the original. Uh, addendum? The original contract. What are you, fucking Ben Franklin over and here? And then we can add some addendums to fit our steeds. What's an addendum? An addition. It's not an appetizer, so <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> I was going to say, did I come with a side of guacamole? <laughs> Can I get extra chips with my addendum, please? So, and hold the knish. I shouldn't have even tried it. I was. He was like, he, dude, he takes one bite. This thing sucks. I look over. It's gone. Plus, I used about a, a gallon of mustard on it. I assumed you idiots wouldn't know what See, a knish is. This is what he thinks of us. <laughs> What'd you you didn't think we know what a knish is? Yeah. You thought that I thought you didn't know what you ordered? In what world does a man this fat not know the food he's asking for? That Seinfeld? No, oh, it was no. Good. That, it had a vibe, though. Also, that beef wellington <laughs> in hindsight is an egregious choice. For lunch, he had beef wellington. <laughs> that's a dinner, dude. <laughs> With like 15 IPA. We were getting tanked up. What dude, do you mean? Yeah, that's yeah. what they have on Sundays for their roast, dude. Yeah, I think I, we ordered like, a, I ordered like a sausage roll. They have roll. that at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like once a year. I never like, had one. It's a better time than noon <laughs> when it's 100 degrees out. 
and you're drinking. Gordon Ramsay's always talking about him. Yeah, for dinner and holiday parties. <laughs> Not day drinking with the boys. <laughs> yeah, I guess Dude, that's, that's like sitting down and ordering a fucking Thanksgiving dinner. That's insane. I get some pretzel rods and a whole turkey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, me and Tom, like me and Tom, got like apple, we got like a fish and chips and like a whatever. You know what I mean? We're hanging, dude. Uh, that beef Wellington dropped, and I, oh man, that was crazy. Came with one of those big fucking stainless steel things. A <laughs> ging. Uh, so, the original bet was. And we can, we can, we no just, bet. The original deal, no bet. The original deal was I will waive a monthly payment. Mm-hmm. The original deal, because I, ha- not comedy wise or not being a dick, I have ye of little faith and I want the ball just to start moving in the right direction. We tried with the lose the 25 pounds in a month. I don't want anything to do with that. I said, if you lose any weight, if you weigh in lower than what you weighed in the month before. Which I could lose a pound a month. I would be happy. You're putting on two at this tw- point. Tw- 12 hundy? I couldn't let you do that. Again, with this let me do that, this is what got you into the trouble the last time. You can't do that. If you could do that, you would be doing that. So, like, this, this whole guy, I can't let you do that. Also, you shouldn't let me put you on a fucking payment plan. Why not? He's, well, I mean, like, you're like, I can't take you 1200 for, for four pounds. Or you're like, I, can, I won't take the 4800 for four pounds. You mean I should just be paying it? Yeah, I feel you should be in a position where you just, or you don't get us fucking kicked out of the Airbnb. Which I can't go back and change that, but I would, there'll be no trouble for me moving forward. Sure. So, I believe you talked about separate accommodations. Yeah, that you'll be paying. For, yeah, if we go somewhere, you'll get a fucking hotel room. Wait, hold on. I don't like that. Am I banned from Airbnbs? Obviously. Dude. Really? You cost us four grand. <laughs> I didn't cost you anything. That's true. You get paid regardless. Yes. Um, Who said he won? <laughs> you cost me four grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then locked me out of the new Airbnb. <laughs> Allegedly. That I had to pay for that I had to pay for hotel rooms for me and Tommy, and then you sure changed me on the Venmo request. No, I didn't you you told I, me it was I, for, I, it's for co- hey. Comedy purposes, okay, remember? So sure. Before he's like, Don't get mad in this one. Let's have fun. Now I'm breaking your stones over here. First of all, you're like, I'll send you the six bucks, but the fifty two hundred you're out on the hook for. Fair enough. So yeah, you'll pay for your... I, I mean, that's like hedging our bets. I can't have you in more Airbnbs. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, you'll get a hotel room. Is there any way to wiggle myself back in there? Let's see. When's, it, when's the next Airbnb coming Chicago. up? Chicago. Really? Mm-hmm. So I have to pay two nights for my own hotel? I'd rather pay... Yeah. I mean, also... T-shirt money? You they come a, to the Chicago show. There's going to be a bucket going around. <laughs> you live in a wild. You're doing two buckets. <laughs> two collection plates. Hey, made a light a candle in the back for the Airbnb. Oh, man. I tell you what, if I had a couple of those long things going around <laughs> at the end of the show, that'd be all right. I mean. Never. So, whatever. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But, oh, no, the next Airbnb is in fucking Austin this week. Next week. The first night we got an Airbnb. We just can't. T- I mean, hotel rooms for the three of us ended up costing us fucking seven hundred dollars a night or whatever between three people. Are we in an Airbnb for Sunday and Monday, or is you just hoteling it? I don't know. I don't know. We're not that far yet. Okay. Um. So let's but get back. Can I just say this? I guess we've had numerous Airbnbs that I'd never had a problem in. This guy was a, an extra special fucking prick, and I walked right into his trap. I'll admit that. But you got to give me another chance with the Airbnb. We did, and you locked us out, and I had to get a hotel room at 2 in the morning. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> I meant the whole Airbnb experience. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you are a certain kind of doofus. The whole week. You realize how big of an idiot you are, right? You yeah. just sat there and fought, give me one more shot, and you already hung yourself. 
Okay, one more shot? We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. That's a yes. Well, I mean, at what point do you go, guys, I'll just get a hotel room to stop inconveniencing you guys? Like, at some point, the burden's on you. You're making the burden on me. Like, you should be like, hey, guys, I'm going to be a good team. I, this is what I would do. If I caused the chaos you caused in L.A., I'd be like, listen, guys, it's obviously way cheaper for you guys to get Airbnbs. You guys do that. I've proven I can't handle myself and be responsible as a team player. They're not paying. I'm, we're paying for the Airbnb. Okay. It's not, it I'm saying what I would do. You still locked other people out of their fucking hotel room, whether you're, out of the Airbnb, whether you're paying it or not. You don't get to fucking just do that. Fair you enough. You don't get to go, hey, Tommy, just because we're taking you on the road, fucking tough noogies. Ah, poor Tommy. He was out there for a while. Yeah, out there he... for like 90 minutes. <laughs> he was scared. Bones dying. You're snoring. <laughs> Didn't help uh, those creeps across the street with the fucking Halloween decorations. I'm just saying, I think I would be like, listen, guys, if in the times when it is financially beneficial to get Airbnbs for mm -hmm. more than one night stays mm -hmm. with a group of people. Mm -hmm. You guys can get one for three people. I'll get a hotel room. Do I have, to book, the, do I have to book the hotel myself? I mean, you can. I mean, like, again, this is like your mom doing your laundry. What, can you book a hotel room yourself? You seem to do it in Hawaii and fucking Paris. I don't, you never locked anybody out. To, are you locking everybody out in Hawaii? So you're not doing the laundry um, is what you're saying. Whatever. We're getting no. off. We're getting off track. Well, it's coming up this weekend. I gotta, I gotta make a move. I gotta get on Expedia. I gotta find out. I'm gonna get bamboozled over the rates. Oh, boo hoo! I, I am. I feel so bad. You're hitting me now. <clears throat> Can I come by and hang out at the Airbnb? No guess. That's my rule. <laughs> Ten grand. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Five thousand dollar fine. Yeah, we're getting off track here. So, what? Let's all the the three of us, and maybe even Luke, throws his uh cool guy hat in the ring here. Um. So, we're going to weigh you today, whatever that is. Excuse me one second. Your next, your next weigh-in. Just wanted to intimidate new guy Luke real quick. Your next yeah, weigh-in will be on or around the 15th, depending I'm on. I'm sorry. The, can you repeat that? Your next weigh-in from today will be on or around the 15th. Ironically, that is the same day your first $1,200 payment is due. Where? To me. Oh, okay. Not ironically, you set it up like that. This guy's an idiot. Of course, yeah. It's also my first, my first tax payment still. Um, Which, can I say that? Yeah. Got that all taken care of. Up, up for a payment plan. Automatic payment plan. I'm all set. I, did all, I, I, I looked up, got all my stuff, got everything organized. I sent it over to the accountant. The tax thing is, 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 is being handled. And as you said, that was the biggest step. But this Get is a also like beef Wellingtons you just celebrate. you just lit the house on fire and go. But I tied my shoes today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, fire department! Look whose shoes are tied. <laughs> Jokes on you! I didn't tie my shoes. Yeah. My mom did it for me when I left. Um, she didn't. I don't know if I. As a guy who's <laughs> tied your shoes, I don't know if I believe that. This guy's tied my shoes. That's a good friend, huh? Not this son of a bitch trying to throw me under the fucking bus. All right, you wouldn't fit. <laughs> That's true. Be a fucked up bus after that. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. <laughs> you better have bumper to bumper on this goddamn bus. He hit me. De Blasio. Whatever. <clears throat> so, so one month from today, your first twelve hundred dollar payment to Tootie is due. Uh huh. Which it was seven hundred, and somebody started running their mail. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Which I now regret. But also, I think this works better because when you do sit down to have a cheeseburger and you can, you've rationalized in your head, that could, call, that could be a $1,200 cheeseburger you're about to have. Oof. Be some truffles on that. Or you know what I'm saying? Slice of bread. Or slice beer. Bread. Or IPA. Listen, you like to drink. I, buddy, I like to drink, too. I, I like get, a cocktail. I'm not even doing the IPA. You're, I like getting you're fucked you're up and forgetting. You're fucking skulling fucking seven IPAs. As you're having a beef Wellington. I mean, it's crazy. Everybody mm. else, we're all sitting at the table. And I'm a fat tub of shit, too. I'm not trying to sit here like I'm an Adonis. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be like, all right, well, that's at least a thousand different calories, a thousand additional calories I'm not having. Today. The martinis aren't working out either because I drink about 15 of them. Yeah, and then lock us out of the Airbnb. Right. Sure. Whatever. So one week from today or one month from today, mm -hmm. your first $1,200 payment is due. Yes. Whatever this is, let's just say this number is 
four hundred even, I, whatever it is. It's not going to be that, but go ahead. That's fine. I don't, I, buddy. No judgment from. There's over no here. judgments. <laughs> no judgments. We agree on that. On. You guys got to check in. What is no judgments on how much I actually before weigh we do right the weigh in? What is the number he's got to lose for the payment to be waived? Also, like let's let's view it this way. I want he's like a small town judge. It's will say a hundred pounds. No, no, this no. guy's really at the game. They say healthy weight loss is one pound a week. So I think somewhere in between four and five pounds. I'll say, I'll say four pounds. If you can lose four pounds a month, well. We'll weigh, we'll waive each. Actually, let's say five. Let's say five pounds. I thought it was going to be ten. You, buddy, no one's going to stop you at five. If you want to lose ten, lose ten, because you want to be like I'm for. At the end of this, you want to go. I'm forty pounds down. Please, please lose ten. You're, you see, like, your brain's already warped in the sense that I'm dictating what you can lose or not. That's the way you're looking at it. I would like. I to, just want you to doubt me as much as possible. I couldn't possibly I doubt you anymore. Do. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, I would like to propose an addendum to the court. <laughs> also, you hold on with your addendums. So, well, I say I'd say five pounds. I think that's fair. Water fluctuation, taking dump. I mean, you could clear out five pretty easy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't make it so easy on me. Plus, I want the homies to have to, to, to for them. Buddy, if you start losing, fi- if you lose five pounds in four months, everybody's going to be fuck. I'll cry. Five pounds in four months? Five pounds every month for four months. What's that, 25 pounds? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Oh, my God. Four months? Stink. Yeah. I could do better than that, but okay. Please. This is what you don't understand. Please do better, and you keep saying that, and you're getting fatter. Now, if so I— So, like, hold on. You can't do better than that. If I lose can 10— Can you just say you can't do better than that? I can't do better than what? Lose. T- you're saying that you can lose more than five pounds in a month. Uh-huh. Admit that you can't do that because you haven't done it. History will dictate that I that that I couldn't. But let me ask you this: If I lose ten, no, do I get twelve hundred? No, no. Okay. My addi- let's focus on five. And my addendum was going to be, if the court approves it, obviously, that if you miss, not only do you owe the money, the juice starts Ooh. running. Putting a vig on it, ten percent. Ten percent. What a month. Correct. I don't know how that works. Ten percent of the payment or ten percent of the principal? You you would owe ten percent more. You would get juiced for ten percent on top of what you already owe. So if I owe five grand, you would add five hundred to that. That is correct. Ah, okay. I don't agree to that, but it was a nice story. <laughs> that was a cute idea. <laughs> There's no bad ideas in brainstorming. Uh, again, let's. I, I agree. It's fun. But let's we've been down this road before. Mm-hmm. Let's just five pounds. OK, five pounds. All right. If you want to lose 10, lose fucking 100. That's what we want out of this. OK, but it, history shows you can't you haven't been able to do the five. So setting you up for 10 and then not hitting that the first month is setting you up for failure the next month. Mm hmm. Let's do five. I think that's you, – you, you're working out, which you didn't do in L.A. at all if we're, calling, if we're calling balls and strikes here. You didn't go to the gym one time. All I heard leading up to it, you asked me for the Airbnb address 17 fucking times, which I had sent you fucking months ahead of I time. I also brought two books I didn't read. <laughs> and then you didn't go to the gym once. It'd be one thing if you were sculling fucking IPAs in Beef Wellington being like, oh, well, I'm going to get up and fucking punish myself. And you keep saying we went for a long walk. We walked two blocks. It was uphill, though. One way. We can't be uphill both ways. <laughs> it's not the 20s and my dad's going to school. Okay. So. Thought that slipped through the radar. I guess not. Oh, no. It was fully noticed. Also, for the record, I, mean, I, re- we'll I really just wanted—I really just wanted to say the juice starts running. It made me feel real cool. <laughs> <laughs> you come and beat me up. <laughs> Coming out of my apartment, I get hit over the head with a skateboard. <laughs> oh, is that how you would do it? Uh, uh, you, no, All skateboard right. is too easily connected to me. Ah. I get Luke to touch a baseball bat. <laughs> hey, Luke, let's go to batting practice. <laughs> he was killed with a bass guitar. <laughs> 
I'm um, touched. All right, let's 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 do the way into. So we agree with that. Five pounds, twelve hundred dollar payments on the fifteenth of each month, give or take a day or two, because our recording schedule. Okay. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, like it might fall on a Saturday if we're not here. Sure. We'll make sure we're here Thursday at the earliest or Monday at the latest. Cool. All right. I'm now taking as off we've done my headphones. numerous times in the past. To keep my jewelry. You know what? Can I read you? Can I read you a text? You read a text. Can I read you a text? <sighs> is it about me? Yeah. And what a piece of shit I am. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> no, never mind. My wife texted me. No, go ahead. No, it was. I mean, uh, now I feel bad. <laughs> you were not having fun with that. Go um, ahead. God, I can take it. I'm looking for it, man. Is it a text from a personal acquaintance of mine? Okay. You know? I, 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 oh, there it is. Um, oh, no, it came my my uncle, who we drank with in Atlantic City. You guys were just quoting, like, MASH fucking... A couple years ago. Yeah. He said, he sent a picture and said, tell H I'm worried about him. Okay. And then I said, we all are. That's how I talk about you. We all are. What's the photo? It was us showing the photo with Santino. So it's you... It's the photo. Okay. And it's also you sitting next to the photo, which okay. is a tough look. Um, he said, you're going to be, he goes, I hope not, but it looks like you're going to be doing that podcast alone really soon. Ouch. Yeah. Let me see the photo. That's not me. <laughs> you're not even the one in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that guy's like a real That's fat Ralphie piece. May. All right. Okay. Let's do this, and I think we got to get out of here, right? Yeah. Here we go. Can I get up? This is the starting point. It's the way. And I, I, part of me is so pulling for you. The, 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 the last shred of hope I have left is so pulling for you. The only I thing. I want you to turn this around for you. Not for the fucking show. Not for fucking any. You'll be so much happier and not dreading fucking walking to get luggage. The only thing I, the only thing. The, end of the, drive the only thing I ask is, is, is you say, do you believe in me or no? Yes. Do you believe in me or no? Honestly? Yeah. No. Lie to me. Absolutely not. Not even a little bit. I think there's a 0% chance in hell you'll ever be able to pull this off. I just told you to lie to me, didn't I? <laughs> lie to me, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Luke, do you think he has it in him? We got it, big man. Ah, oh, let's go. Oh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> T-Bone, I can't see. You're going to have to do the read. The big man approaches the scale. No. We said whatever I weigh in is not up for criticism. Dude, nobody's cr- nobody's been harsh or criticized. I've criticized your Airbnb behavior more than your weight. T Bone's eyes just fell out of his head. <laughs> hang on, I'm laughing. It's gonna go up. Wait, hang on a second, T Bone. I want to get an honest read here. All right. Looks like a speedometer and an I know, it won't say still. He's getting fatter by the second. <laughs> it's 406, we'll call it. Four Wait. Is... Oh, God. We almost just lost four cameras. Am I paying for that? What are you looking at? Are we calling 406? It's jumping around a ton. All right. I mean, it's at 409 now. <laughs> Stop moving as you move. 410. Settled on 410. Like a roulette machine over there. <laughs> My favorite AM radio station. <laughs> Welcome back. To, oh, by the way. Welcome back to the fat asses on 410. Somebody in the comments on Patreon said something about inmate 403, which that was, was funny, fucking yeah. really funny. Yeah. Um, But that's it. So 405, one month from today. One month from today. And you're clear your 1200 bucks. Okay. All right. So when you sit down and you're going to have those IPAs, you're going to whatever, could cost you $1,200. All right? Yeah. And if not, you have to be either, you know, I'll just withhold the money or you could come in with cash and pay the VIG to Tootie. Wait, I didn't agree to that. I didn't agree to the VIG. I know. I was kidding. All right. Jesus Christ, Squirrely Steve, relax, will you? This kid's fucking McBones. I have to get me. <laughs> All right, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond my better judgment and just out of pure love, I'm pulling for you. Thanks, buddy. Rational in me, 
No shot in hell. Well, see, that goes that I, I need an I need you in or out. Just for just for my I need fi- you to lose five pounds. Just for my files. I I just the, the Yes, when I rationally think about it, no, when I I, be- I love an underdog story. Everybody does. Or a fat pig story. <laughs> Except for Mr. McMullen, doesn't it? Apparently. All right, we got to wrap it up. Uh, no hard feelings, though. I to understand. To better choices, to more steps, to less IPAs, and no beef Wellingtons. Are you talking to me? Yes. What about a beef Irvington? <sighs> you ever have that? It's got a duck in it. <laughs> Gang, we'll see you next week. Love you. Peace.